Baby Lexi has come a long way since her birth last June. She was born at just 23 weeks. Her mom, Lacey, had already lost a child after a premature birth and didn't want that to happen again. This time, she received antenatal corticosteroid injections just before Lexi was born. They just gave me a shot in my hip. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, it was very easy, simple. I mean, uh, something that works so well for it to be so easy, I mean, was very nice. Many of the premature babies who die, die because their lungs are underdeveloped. The steroids mature the lungs, as well as other organs in the baby's body. Dr. Wally A. Carlo from the University of Alabama at Birmingham and co-authors studied more than 10,000 preterm infants born between 22 and 25 weeks. Some infants were exposed to the steroids and others were not. Researchers say these injections are currently recommended for mothers with preterm labor at 24 to 34 weeks of pregnancy, but there were limited data on whether they would help babies born earlier than that. Exposure to antenatal corticosteroids in these extremely preterm infants uh, was associated with important reductions in both long-term morbidity, such as neurodevelopmental impairment, and also reduction in death. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. There's a reduction in cognitive outcomes, intelligence uh, issues. In addition, cerebral palsy also is an important complication in premature babies, and this also is part of the impairment that can be reduced. How is Lexi doing today? She is doing good. Having the opportunity to tell the parents that there's a treatment that has such major benefits. It's very comforting for the parents. They know there's something that can be done. Today, Dr. Carlo has some good news for Lacey. Her saturations are staying mostly above 90, so I think that's great news, and I think she can go home. I'm very grateful. I can't wait to get her home. I can actually be a mom. She's healthy, and I'm very happy. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.